Hello, Final Fam. So I'm back and I'm going to be taking a deep dive into a 2018 film called Hereditary. Now, at first when I watched Hereditary, I didn't particularly care for the film. Okay, I have to admit, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my phone and not Bruh. watching the film for what it was. Then when I saw it a second time, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. And my husband actually told me how good it was and I didn't believe him until I rewatched it. And I enjoyed this movie. I actually saw it several more times because each time I watch it, I'm able to pick up on something that I may have missed. So I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the movie Hereditary and I want you to come along on this wacky journey and rabbit hole, which is this 2018 film. With the family dynamic, you have Annie Graham, who is the mom. You have Peter, who's the son. Then you have Charlie and the daughter and of course you have steve the husband and the family dynamic you can see there's a, a huge strain on the family regardless of all the supernatural stuff happening their relationships are all broken of course they're dealing with grief and loss but at the same time you could see annie's unraveling uh with her children not being able to have control her son doesn't really care for her the daughter is really elusive and doesn't really want to be around her mom and and Annie's this overbearing overprotective type of mother and then you have the grandmother who has this past that is private and creepy and this incredible lifestyle that eventually weaves its way into the family and Annie's mother's death was like a prelude to set up this entire story this is what started the wheels churning within the story and and pretty much spread everything out on the table for the audience to basically take in as always if you like videos like this that analyze movies or anything spooky definitely hit the subscribe button like and share so this video can get out to others thank you so much for your support you have this cult and this vulnerable family that's going through all of this stuff all of these supernatural events you have different types of loss you have annie's um loss of her mother in which she didn't particularly care for but it affected her you have annie's tragic loss of her daughter charlie which broke her and then you have annie's loss of uh, her son and her husband it's all these things and of course Annie lost her own life within this movie and it's just it's so much happening for you to digest and take in as the audience doing this movie and not only with the loss the manner in which you know Charlie dies is so jarring and so visceral because she's this young girl um, she doesn't really fit in anywhere and her brother took her to the party and just that whole sequence of you know charlie getting decapitated because she couldn't breathe she had an allergic reaction to this cake that had nuts in it and the brother not even wanting to turn around to face what he's seeing in the back seat just the shock and and dismay and you know just not believing it just not believing what happened you know to his sister at all and then him going home and going to sleep to try to avoid it. And then Annie's reaction in the morning, it was just gut-wrenching. That scene was so good. So in Hereditary, um, the Graham family finds themselves entangled in this web of dark secrets. And it's disturbing, needless to say. And it was this disturbing need to satisfy this demonic presence. Um, the film explores like the notion of ancestral lineage that has been cursed um, regarding Annie's mom. Um, they must carry out specific rituals to appease this malevolent force known as Payman. And Payman is this demon that is basically coming to collect his human body. So the matriarch of the family, Ellen Tapper Lee, uh, is revealed that she has been involved in occult practices and she's passed these beliefs down and rituals to her daughter Annie who in turn passes them on to her children and if you see how Annie is she's like unknowingly doing these things but she's doing them regardless um, so Annie's mom's death sets off this chain reaction of events and it forces the family to confront their twisted destiny then the Graham family needs to satisfy the demon um, that's rooted in the pact and the agreement that is, was established by their ancestors. The rituals and the sacrifices that they must carry out are a means to keep the demon at bay and prevent it from wreaking havoc in their lives. 
And these actions you see are depicted as desperate attempts to manage some semblance of control and prevent tragedy. However, it doesn't go their way in the story. Now, as the story continues to progress, you see that the family members are becoming increasingly aware of their role um, in this sinister cycle. Annie is driven by guilt and grief, and she delves deeper into the mother's cult practices and inadvertently invites even more chaos into their lives when she goes to see the friend, I believe it's Joan. So this need to satisfy the demon becomes a burden and they must all bear it. It's a constant reminder that the dark inheritance and the lengths that they're willing to go to protect themselves, but sadly it all backfires. You see that happening with Annie's husband, you see that happening with the son Peter. The film itself presents this family struggle to fulfill their obligations to the demon payment. It's a metaphor for the destructive nature of generational trauma. They are trapped in this cycle of pain and suffering and they're unable to escape the consequences of their ancestors' actions. And they need to satisfy the demon because it represents the burden of their past. It's an ines inescapable fate that hangs over their heads as a constant reminder. So Hereditary explores themes of fate, inherited guilt, the destruction and power of secrets. It delves into like the psychological and emotional toll that such burdens can have on individuals and families. And we clearly see that with the Graham family. There's specific symbolism that plays a significant part in Hereditary. One of the central symbols is the miniature dioramas that's created by the character Ellen Taper Lee, the grandmother of the family. These dioramas mirror the events in the story and are often foreshadowing or reflective of the family's experiences. They represent the loss of control, a predetermined fate that haunts the grand family, suggesting that their lives are being manipulated by forces beyond their comprehension. Another symbolic element is the recurring motif of decapitation. Now throughout the film, decapitation symbolizes the loss of identity. Power and control. It is often associated with themes of family secrets and the destructive consequences that they bring. The decapitation of birds, the decapitation of a pigeon, and sadly the untimely decapitation of Charlie, and then the decapitation of the character Annie's headless horse, all contribute to this film's disturbing atmosphere and is emphasized the loss of self. Now, I didn't get that before, but when I rewatched it, I did get it. Now, foreshadowing in this film is utilized effectively. In Hereditary, for it to create this sense of impending doom, from the very beginning, there's like these subtle hints and clues that are scattered throughout the narrative of the story. For example, earlier in the film, there was a seance that was conducted, and the characters, they discuss this presence of the spirits. This foreshadows the supernatural events that unfold later in the story. Additionally, Annie the mom, there's this miniature art project that often depicts the scenes of the foreshadowing and the family's tragic fate. And it offers viewers this airy glimpse into their future, which is insane. Now, the film is known for its disturbing and unsettling scenes, which contribute to the overall sense of dread. One of the most shocking scenes involves the car accident that claims the life of Charlie, which is the young daughter of the Graham family. Now, this suddenness, the brutality of the accident, and the shock of both the characters and the audience, setting in this motion a series of horrifying events. So another disturbing scene that really bothered me a lot, of course, occurs when Annie, consumed by grief, she attends a support group meeting. And during her monologue, she reveals deeply unsettling and personal details about her family history. This is about her mom. Her emotional breakdown, the disturbing revelation she shares, creates a sense of discomfort and unease. So pretty much all the audience watching it. Now, towards the climax of the film, the audience is confronted with this surreal nightmare sequence in which Peter, Annie's son, is possessed by supernatural forces. This scene is filled with macabre imagery, 
intense psychological terror and the viewers are practically on the edge of their seats. I know I was. And the scenes with the miniatures, as I stated before, they were a huge part of the symbolism within this movie. Some scenes were so uh, sterile and so capturing that you didn't even know if you were looking at a real scene or a miniature the way that they were able to to pan in and out of those frames it was so good and it put you into that um i guess controlled environment where you know miniatures have this certain look to them or this certain feel and i think with annie's character she was desperately trying to control everything around her um she was even controlling her son and her husband if you saw it some moments um, and Steve somehow felt emasculated in some instances and Annie was so absorbed with her work and she wasn't really, she's a good mom, but she wasn't paying attention to her children like she should have been. It was all or nothing type of attitude that I, that's what I was getting from Annie. And you see that in the Graham family's desperate attempts to satisfy the demon payment, um, they highlight the lengths that people will go to to protect their loved ones. I mean, Annie really tried, but sadly, you know, it, it didn't help. And also to face these imaginable horrors that this family saw, especially when Annie was more or less possessed by this thing. So overall, the film itself presents this chilling portrayal of a family that's bound by a dark legacy and their desperate need to satisfy the demonic presence. It serves as a haunting reminder that some secrets can never truly be buried and the consequences of the past can shape the present in the most harrowing ways. Now, Hereditary is a film that masterfully combines symbolism, foreshadowing, disturbing scenes. It creates this unsettling, uh, memorable horror experience for everyone. It's the exploration of family secrets, grief and loss, loss of control, uh, it resonates with us deeply and is a thought-provoking and chilling addition to the horror genre. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed the movie Hereditary. And also, let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.